there's a need for the digitalization of materials since we try to have uh, the materials and their reaction on outside forces and loads uh, for the full time uh, to monitor them, to be able to construct them in a better way, to uh, find ways of producing them better. And uh, what you can see here on the poster is uh, if you for example imagine a turbine or anything like this where you have turbine blades which are very advanced materials we need to check what their status is at that moment. So what our industrial partners often would like to know is what's the state of the material, what's the lifetime of that material, because the lifetime of that material will also define the lifetime of that turbine. So to be able to check it with online sensing or anything like that, that that's one way to do that. But if we would be able to really have the microstructural changes inside of the material, why we use the material, that would be one of the aims uh, for the digitalization of materials. And what you can see here is um, that would also affect how we develop materials. If we want to develop new materials for magnetic uh, uh, materials, uh, applications where we have electric motors or uh, anything like this where we actuate things, we are in big need for materials which work at higher temperatures, for example, with magnetic properties. Another possibility is if we know how the material reacts at any time in, uh, in, in its production, we can easily also use that to, let's give it more intelligence into the flexible productivity. Uh, so if we have a, a material where we know the inside, the microstructure and how it's changing between two different um, processing uh, steps, we can then change, for example, if the material property is varying in, in between, uh, let's say, uh, a big chunk of material and then I get another lorry of material, then the material properties can change and to anticipate that and then also keep the quality of the product as high as possible, we need to really know what's happening inside during production. So that would make uh, the production more flexible. We could uh, produce better quality, higher lifetime at the end. And the third, as I said already, uh, would be then in the application and while we're using the material and how we can uh, always know what the lifetime is and also give the user of, of that application an idea of how it can be used in a way that it can be used as long as possible so that the lifetime can be enhanced. And um, that would be giving the user then uh, the possibility to make a conscious uh, decision how he uses his material.